For more debates, updates, and bonus clips, sign up at thebigconversation.show. Those uh, who advocate for disability rights and so on uh, have protested sometimes some of the, the statements you've made and the events you've been at. What is it about what you say that promotes that kind of a reaction, would you say? Uh, if you're asking specifically about the reaction of people we're, uh, who are advocates for disability rights, um, it's probably merely that I state things that a lot of other people believe and indeed act on. Um, because after all, it's, it's very common for people to have prenatal testing to see whether the, uh, a fetus that they're carrying will have a disability. And in most of these cases, for example, if the disability is Down syndrome, uh, typically something like 85% of the pregnant women will uh, opt to terminate the pregnancy. Um, and you know, I think that that's a defensible decision, and I think it's a defensible decision because I think it's reasonable to prefer to have a child without Down syndrome than one with Down syndrome. Um, but because I say that explicitly, whereas other people are just doing it in the privacy mm. of their medical clinics and decisions, um, I think I attract opposition from people who try to maintain that uh, you know life with disabilities is just as good and uh, we should not, as they say, discriminate against people with disabilities. Mm. Mm. But obviously, as I say, you know, most people do discriminate uh, and I think that's a kind of that's a justifiable form of discrimination and when it comes to those kinds of issues how do you arrive at the view that you know it's preferable if you like to 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 not have a child with disability and so on what's the kind of the ethic that you've been promoting? well the, 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 the cases which are easiest are ones where the the child will uh, suffer uh, significantly if they are born with a disability um, and for that purpose, I'd have to say Down syndrome is probably not a good example. I chose mm. it merely because mm. it's a common disability and people do opt to terminate pregnancies with Downs. Um, but the, the underlying ethic that I hold is a utilitarian ethic, that is, that uh, we ought to try to reduce the amount of suffering in the world, we ought to try to promote the amount of well-being, happiness, however you want to describe it in the world, uh, and uh, that I think that when you have uh, children born particularly with, with conditions that lead them to suffer greatly uh, or ones that are very difficult for their parents to cope with um, and again especially in societies that don't provide good support for that um, then I think it's a reasonable choice to say uh, I'd rather have a child without mm. that condition. Mm.